team that uh, you faced last year that changed things, changed your season around for you? Just, I guess, the feeling of playing a, you know, a team like Virginia. Well, there's no feeling at all. Just another team in the way, and we got to go out there. We got to prepare the same way we did this whole week and last week. And uh, we got to have a good game. Corey, along those lines, when, when you guys lose a game, the rule is you forget it, you start looking ahead. How tougher is that when you're coming off a couple of wins, too? Forget it and keep looking. I ahead. think it, it. I think it's the same because um, the way we practice today, you couldn't, you wouldn't have known that if we won or lost the game because we just went out there and had a regular Tuesday practice and it was, it was tough, it was hard, but we we had fun today and it was. I think this is one of the best practices we had so far, and um, we just got to keep on moving forward and we can't let nothing stop us. They have a pretty good pass defense. How much study time are you going to have to put in this week to, to really feel like you have a good grasp of what they're doing? Well, you got to put it in the same amount you've been always putting in. Just um, make sure we uh, just hit everything, look at the little things and uh, in order to execute our roles. What do you see from their secondary with midfield back there? They, they have a lot of things to do. Um, no, they're pretty decent secondary. They got some good players. The midfield is pretty good. Uh, we just got to, you know, um, just hit them in their weakness and uh, find their weakness and make sure we keep going at it. But uh, they have some good players that can uh, match up with our guys. Reviewing the game from, from, from Georgia Tech, what, what, what did they do defensively to slow down? They had to be humming pretty, pretty good until they were able to have some success against you. Yeah, they had, they had, uh, they had a lot of success against us. Uh, they uh, managed to slow us down running and they slowed us down passing-wise. Uh, but I feel like we managed the game well and we took care of the things that we needed to take care of when we needed them to. Completed the passes that we needed to and made the big runs when we needed to and that's what I guess separated us from uh, w Which helped us win the game, but they came out there and they they had a good scheme on Curry, a week ago this team all you heard about was defensive line This defensive line that there's nobody on the defensive line. Nobody's healthy. What did they show you? Holding that team to 130 yards rushing that they're tough and they're fighters Oh, uh, you know being with everything that's going on outside, you know and people talking about you know, we don't have a defensive line, we don't have this and that. Uh, they went out there and proved everybody wrong. Um, they had one of the top Russian teams in the nation, which I think it was the top Russian team in the nation, to pretty much nothing. So um, I, I think they, they did an excellent job and we needed that. The the, uh, the number of penalties have been way down. How beneficial is that to the offense to kind of not beat yourself in that? Uh, it's very beneficial because we're not moving backward. We're just going forward and uh, it helps keep point on keep points on the board like when we get in field goal range uh, we don't have false start penalties that put us out of it um, and we're playing smart football right now so uh, just pre-snap protocol to Corey the way Tommy Streeter is playing right now is this what you expected out of him and it's taken him a while but is this what you expected out of him coming out of high school together yeah pretty much uh, Tommy Streeter is somebody that's been working hard like I said before uh, he's just got his chance to shine and now he's he's using his opportunity Along those lines, Travis Benjamin's having a pretty good season for you guys. You talk about him and the way he's sort of taking even on a bigger role than he did in the past. Yeah, Travis is our is our guy. He's uh, someone that has been in the program forever. Him and Leron Bird, and uh, uh, he's just been working so hard that we know we want to do everything that's possible to get him the ball. And uh, he's a playmaker. Once you get it to him, you just let him do the rest. Jacory, uh, how many times have you watched that film from the Virginia game last year? Yeah. Watch the film, I didn't too much watch the hit like that. It really wasn't nothing that that I need to watch. It was the hit, so uh, I was just looking at the coverage after that, after the hit, so there's nothing that bothers me. Does it feel like a lifetime ago to you? Uh, mean, you know, not at all. I don't even care about the game last year, so I don't know why it's even. Are you going to tell your offensive lineman to, to maybe not jump in the end zone and celebrate like that? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> that was scary. I was actually running in the end zone, and Mongo and Chantrell was right next to me. And I see him go up in there and just come down, so I thought he tripped. And me and Chantrell trying to pick him up, and then we just hear him say, ah, and we're like, oh, like we got scared. But um, he'll be okay. Mongo is a tough guy, and I'm pretty sure he'll fight through it. Malcolm, he's, you know, he's battling with Chantrell to play that, fill that right tackle spot. Can you talk a little bit about Malcolm and how he's progressing this year? Oh, he's progressed a lot. Those are two big guys to be battling against each other. I wouldn't want to see them in the ring together, but uh, those guys, they've been working hard. They had an excellent practice today, both of them. And um, I'm just happy with what they put out there on the field because I know anybody that they put out there is going to do that. How was this offensive 
wine been, you know, been so good for you this season? They've been excellent. Uh, can't ask for a better offensive line. They uh, make all the right calls. We communicate well. Uh, we never really, you know, have any, any uh, complications or anything that, that throws us off out there. So, um, everything's been going fine with this offense. Where you feel like Mike James is starting to come along at the touchdown last week, kind of a slow start with injuries and whatnot. Do you feel like he's progressing here as the season goes on? Yeah, Mike James is always a work hard, workhorse. Uh, he's somebody that work hard. And uh, everything that he does, it just it shows on the field. So what he does in practice shows on the field and has been showing the last couple of games. He's somebody that work hard, so he deserves it. You know, you guys won by seven. You guys won by a great margin. And you and Lamar Miller didn't have typical days from what the season has shown so far. Is that just a relief in a way that you do special teams and defense, everybody really steps up and carries it? It just shows you that football is not by individuals. It's a, it's a team effort. And as uh, long as your team goes out there and prepare and play the way that you've been practicing, then you'll come out with it. Uh, so it doesn't matter what the individuals do because me and Lamar could have had awesome stats, but if we would have lost, those stats don't matter at all. take care of our business and do those things. We're going to have a good game and we're going to make sure we all keep this role going. Some people are saying that you guys won two in a row and looked so good on Saturday that maybe you've turned the corner. Do you feel like the team's turned the corner now? Not at all. It's still a way, it's still spots on defense that we could get better, special teams and offense where we can get better. And, uh, I don't think from all three phases of the game that we've played a complete game. Uh, it's like Every game is somebody want to step up in this quarter, somebody want to step up in that quarter. It's never been consistent. So I think as long as we stay consistent, it kind of reflects our, our season and our, our rank. Well, I mean our, our record. record. <laughs> it reflects our record how like we're just above 500 because we're not, we haven't been consistent. And I, I feel like once we get consistent with everything, all three phases, we'll be right where we want to be. You just said football's not an individual game, so of course not an on individual. But how much do you appreciate Sean getting this kind of national attention and numbers he's putting up? I really being told he was too small. So yeah, I really appreciate that. But because uh, Sean is somebody, without Sean, I don't know where I would be or anybody else on this team would be right now. Because Sean, he kind of is like the glue to everything. He's everybody is. Sean on his team, and for him to get the, the uh, acknowledgement that he's getting is, is good. Uh, no, we're just trying to win games, and uh, I think I feel like as long as we continue to win, then the rest of the things will fall in place. Said that they might have asked you before that the last six quarters, I guess, have been a little bit shaky for the offense, but it still seems that you, you especially, are really keeping in the games and even when things aren't as good you're doing much better um, I keep my boys because my offense keeps their boys and uh, the guys around me keep their boys if I feel anybody freaking out I might freak out so um, that's that's how we are we help each other and we're a team so you know one individual falls then we all fall last question for Jacory please it's going to be a good thing you guys play Thursday. You get a chance to sort of watch everybody else on Saturday this coming week. Are you going to spend time doing that, or do you guys just take the weekend off? Um, hey, it gives you time to watch extra film on the next opponent, but I watch some games. I don't too much watch games like that. I go to sleep. That's my big thing. <laughs> I go to sleep.